look at Luke 17. In Luke chapter 17, from verse 11 to 18, there, there were 10 lepers, 10 mm -hmm. lepers. This, you know, came clearly, you know, to us because some people have a way of saying, oh, no, 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 the Old Testament, this is the New Testament. Please, God is the same. He said, I'm the Lord. I change not. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. God has not changed anything. Everything in the New Testament was a shadow of what is to come. He didn't change anything. Jesus didn't come to counsel the Lord. He came to fulfill it. Jesus is the fulfillment of the law. And here, the Bible says in Luke 17, from verse 11 to 18, there were 10 lepers who were lepers. They had conditions. They cried to Jesus. 10 of them cried to Jesus. And the Bible says, Jesus told them, go show yourself to the priest. Just like in the beginning of the year, we all cry. He said, as they went, they were cleansed, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And one of them, please read from there. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed. When he saw that he was then Turned back. One of them. Okay, keep reading. And with a loud voice glorified God. Uh-huh. And fell down on his face at fell his feet. Fell down on his face. Giving him thanks. Giving him thanks. He and said, look, this is all I have, mm -hmm. my life. I mm -hmm. bore it before you. He fell down. It was rolling on the ground. If he had a million dollars, we would have given it. But all he had was his life. He fell down. Giving him what? Thanks. Thanks. Keep reading. And he was a Samaritan. He was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said. And Jesus said, you see, that's, that, is the, that is the parameter. What did he say? Were there not 10 cleansed? Were there not 10 cleansed. All of them were cleansed. But where are the nine? Where are the nine? Mm -hmm. Then he said to the one. There are not found that return to give glory to God. There are not found. Save this stranger. That is a strange thing. People don't come back to give God thanks. Jesus. Keep reading. And he said unto him. He said to him. Arise. Initially he said to them. Go that way. He has come out of the group. He has become singled out for the promotion. That's how God. Mm. They, all of mm. them were in the same category. What differentiated them now? is the fact that one came to give thanks. He was separated. Anyone that recognizes God, appreciate him, give him the due that is due to him, honor him in the dimension of what he has done, is always promoted. That's the key yes. for promotion. You never need to struggle for promotion in your life. If you are thanking God adequately and recognize him as a source, promotion will find you wherever you are. God will locate you. He knows where to find you. Keep reading. Thy faith have made thee whole. Your faith has made you whole. The greatest expression of faith is thanksgiving. Because yes. you are thanking yes. God you cannot see. Yes. If that yes. is not faith, tell me what faith is. Yes. <laughs> the Bible says yes. Abraham was strong in faith, giving glory to God. For mm -hmm. he was fully mm -hmm. persuaded that what God has promised, God was able to do it. Mm -hmm. He was thanking the God that he cannot see. That's the two expressions of faith, prayer and thanksgiving. Those are the greatest expression Jesus. of faith. Jesus. Watch it here. He said, what thy faith has what made, made thee whole. whole. May your own faith make you whole. Jesus. I say, may Jesus. you be made whole. Jesus. That means it has, it, it, it has been moved to another level, a new dimension. He was a leper, ostracized, separated, but now he's been made whole. This curse has been cured. He has been completely healed. His past has been erased. His future has been opened up. He has entered into a new destiny by the thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ, there are a lot of us here that God is going to take to a new level in our lives. In the coming year, I don't know what leprosy, what that, what that situation has been in your life that is a that is a, that is a, a bot, but God is going to erase it. That leprosy situation, that, that thing that has kept you in the company of multitude, God is going to separate you and put you in a class of your own when you understand the power of thanksgiving. This situation will come. The most easiest thing to do is to complain, like the children of Israel, to murmur, is this what my mates have? Is this what whatever? You are comparing yourself with others. But I say, you are not wise. Mm. That, say, huh? They were crying for, for flesh, for garlic, for cucumbers. Can you imagine grown-up people crying? Say, why are you crying? <laughs> I want cucumbers. I want, I want garlic. Say, my God. And God has given you food. You just need to eat and move on. Yeah, just move on. Why not? I, I, I often tell my wife, you know, say, say, say I'm making the best. I know I actually don't have time to be sitting and waiting for food. The food should wait for me because I could be doing other things. Thank you so much. I don't, you, somebody's now crying for food. Yeah, you don't have food. Just thank God for water and move, move on with your life. Yeah, give God that. You see, the enemy is looking for opportunity. To make you a murmurer, a complainer. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. But give God thanks. Yes. Give God thanks. 
there was a day we had a major that was some years back. We had a, we had a, we had an evangelism meeting in 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 Petrie Corners. We didn't have gas in our car. We didn't even have money to buy gas to go, to get to the meeting. The people are already there. Every church member is there. We the pastor we didn't have money for gas. As I was just thinking, say God, what am I going to do? I just remember I had some coins I usually keep somewhere. I just went there and said, Father, thank you for these coins. That day I knew the value of my coins. I went to the gas station. All I'm doing is thank you. When I dropped the coins on the counter, the lady said, eh? I said, yeah, eh, for my gas. <laughs> Count it and tell me what it is and tell me the pump I should go and stand by and fill my tank. And that's it. I was grateful. Somebody would say, eh, 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 I'm here serving you, whatever. I don't have no gas. My friend, please shut up and serve God with gladness. Hello, somebody. Oh, yeah. I said, God, thank you. And since that day, I've never lacked gas. Recently, my daughter was, I wanted to buy gas. My daughter said, you didn't even check the price. I said, there is no need. He said, Bishop, I said, price. I said, no need. When I need gas, my God shall supply all my because I learned to give him thanks. That's what separates you. I could have complained that day. Maybe that, that was my test. I could have said, hey, God, I'm serving you. We have evangelism. I couldn't even have money to buy gas. God said, you will, you will be, you, you, you might move from a car to a bicycle or maybe by trek. Yeah. And that's why a whole lot of people have been stranded. In. God is delivering somebody in the name of Jesus. Do I say, in all things, give thanks. This is the will of God that changes your level. Are you still here? So what do we do to adequately thank God? What are the things we can do when somebody has been good to you? What can you do to show appreciation? It requires a whole lot of thinking to think. Hello, somebody. If you're a good thinker, you'll be a good thinker. If you can think well, you'll be able to thank God adequately. Permit my English. Hello, somebody. Yeah, if you think deeply, you will thank God adequately. The psalmist said in Psalm 116, verse 12. Look at what it says here. Psalm 116, verse 12. What shall I render unto the Lord? What shall I render? Unto the Lord. Uh -huh. For all his benefits towards For me. all his benefits towards me. It's a question. That's why we're here today. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? If God has not benefited you in anything, then you don't have to render him anything. But he has benefited you. You need to think, what shall I render unto the Lord? That was the thought the psalmist had in his mind. Hello, somebody. 